Hello, Zion Rico is talking. I show you how to work with MicroStation and Revisto. I have prepared in MicroStation uh, that I installed the Revisto 5 ribbon in one of the ribbons of MicroStation. And when you click on it, you see these buttons. If you go to the export button, it will show up this menu and you could define what to export of the 3D content. So by clicking that, you can define in this view here, default one, what 3D content will be exported to Revisto. And here you can export sheets. In my case, I have just one sheet which is integrated in this model. So you see here um, a ground view with some uh, texts. So I go back to this view here. And if I click to export, I don't do it because of shorting the video I do. So I have already prepared that. I am here in my, uh, in Revisto and you see this MicroStation file showing up here. So it just comes in with all the graphical information as you see here. And if you want to work with that, you can do it like uh, you know it already. You can just mark some elements. You can create a section box around that, modify the section box uh, to create kind of um, an issue. Here I go to stamp. I place a stamp on that and you have all these informations you can then use to double click to switch back to Revisto. I do it like here. You see uh, this part of the model here, so you can work on that issue. Um, somet sometimes it is necessary that you um, come to MicroStation because MicroStation knows as well the parallel perspective. So if you prefer to work not on a perspective, you could switch off the camera and then your view will be um, parallel perspective and uh, so you can work in MicroStation. If you are here in the 3D and you uh, just switch off the sheet, you can just come to elements here, um, mark them <clears throat> like that up here. So you could as well say switch back and it will show you the situation in MicroStation. So this is uh, switch backing. And then you have the possibility as well. So I showed you that we have a 2D sheet here in the 2D section. You will get a folder with the name of your DGN file with a sheet inside. Double click it and you see the green button which allows you to link it to the 3D. So you see now here this uh, 2D sheet. It comes on a Z coordinate, you can move it up and somewhere you will find your 3D model. So you could choose, for example, to place the 2D sheet just uh, a little bit below your 3D content. You, I'm sorry, I go back to here. You can just detach the, the sheet and then you can show it up. And so you can just see all information here as usual with the linked sheets.